lost my heart and hope to die Welcome to my dark side Hello everybody, this is Baron of Bears, be another video guide for the mobile game Call of Dragons. And uh, first off, I want to apologize that my allergies have been acting up. It's the beginning of spring and where I'm at, it's the weather's been really kind of crazy lately. And uh, I'm going to try to power through this as much as I can. Uh, I might be limited on some of the videos I can make right now, unfortunately. Uh, but anyway, this one's going to be about free player tips. Basically, I might title this the best free player tips because in my opinion, it's going to be the best advice that any free player or low spender is ever going to hear and any content creator ever give them in any video game. The first tip I want to emphasize is it's important to find a good alliance. You know, you have to have a good alliance as a free player, even as a low spender, because it's very important to get with the right, um, right group of people that are going to help you and uh, that's active and organized, maybe even have, you know, a, a discord or something for good communication purposes. Just, you know, highly organized, just helpful alliances, clans or whatever they want to call it in this game is important. Um, the next thing I'm going to emphasize here before I go on, I might do some editing to try to keep this video down in a short, you know, period of time, hopefully. Uh, I'm going to release information that I found out about this game uh, with their uh, certain revolutionary mechanics in this game that I think is going to revolutionize city builders as we know it. And it's going to make this game probably, if not the best, close to being the best city builder out in the market and um, i'm going to say that towards the end of the video in a video of uh, patch notes i'm not going to go too much into that but they i can actually I actually proved how honest this company is with their player base in that video about how they actually break down what they did before the patch note ch an update change and what they did after the update uh I, that's the most honest uh probably the best patch notes I've ever seen in a mobile game in the 10 years I've played, okay? So, if that doesn't reassure you that this is a good company, I don't know what does. So, I'm this is I'm going to keep this short, guys. I really am. I'm not going to go into too much tips. But there's a lot of great content creators, and th they're going to cover all that for you guys. Go watch all their videos. Give them all the love you want. You know, like their videos. Watch them. They're going to do a great job and help you. So I'm, not, you know, reassure you on that. I'm making this because I want to help the players in other ways that um, maybe other content creators kind of shy away from a little bit. Because uh, the bad news about being a free player and low spender, which I'm going to be in this game, okay? I ha already had people tell me they they really want me to not wail out and just go as a free player uh, as much as I can, you know, without, without showcasing showcasing certain packs and just help people you know so they can watch my videos and, and, and I, they can see how I play the game you know because they you know since I got such experience in these type of games it kind of makes sense to have at least one content creator you know do that for, for the player base for this great game because in my opinion th it, this is a great game um, I want to emphasize the importance of not being addicted to a video game uh, unfortunately some games and I've run across this in my time and it, it's it makes it very I have it's very hard for me to be ethical when I, as a content creator. You don't want to be involved in games like that, especially if you're if it makes you addicted. You know, your family comes first, your friends come first, your life, your work, your your job, you know, you know, your health, all that comes first. These video games are meant to be for fun, so I I won't be making any content to be telling people they gotta live in the game you know just to get ahead and stuff i'm making my videos for people who want to have fun and be casual players and and have time with their spend time with their family that's what's most important so you have to find a good alliance you know, that's just the number one tip I, I pretty much goes for everybody but as a free player it's more helpful i some people might want to know why that is because you, you have to be active as much as you can healthy wise you know and uh the second tip would be as like i just said Avoid the game for you're finding that you're you're getting an addiction in, from playing, and watch the other content creator, and then watch my stuff if you need some more help. Post comments. I'm willing to help anybody at any time. 
Uh, that, those are the two best tips. I don't know if I can give any better tips than that. You know, other YouTubers, are, they're going to cover everything else probably. So, you know, I'd just be wasting my time if I talk any more about that. So, okay. Now here's going to be, this is going to be the revolutionary uh, mechanic in this game. That's going to set this Call of Dragons apart from any other game. Okay, hopefully I don't get interrupted anymore in this. Uh, uh, this is a demonstration video that I use for demonstration purposes to help people to navigate uh, information I want to provide my viewers. Okay, uh, I will try to keep this very short, short at this point. So don't, you know, it's a few more minutes, guys, I promise. Um, this is going to be uh, in a very... Underneath the demo video, it's always going to be the title of the video. It's going to have like 38 views and people even watch this video. Uh, seven days ago, Call of Dragons, and right next to it is a more option. You want to click that more option. This is where I have this information for anyone that, to see this any any time they want to see it. Uh, I go to, over to the right, you're going to see content creator link. Uh, Bear and the Bear, you know, it's a bit.ly website. Uh, you click that. Okay, it came right up to this. I do have a download for Google Docs if you want that uh, for your Play Store or whatever, whatever your app you, store you use uh, because this will enable this to be in dark mode instead of it being white. But you can view it in white, but I would rather do it in dark mode. Okay, we're going to go to text guides. I have This is under construction, guys, so if it's not, there's not a whole lot of stuff. In, there's some stuff in here, right? but it's, I'm, it's going to be a lot more, trust me. Uh, I, go to the text guides. Right in the middle there, it's a purple one. I'm just going to click that. Okay, now this is all I got for this, but this is very important. They have the season information. You can go over that if you want to. I explained that. I have a screenshot which you can find that in the game. I'm not going to go over that, guys. You guys are smart enough to figure that out. You know, if you can come here if you want to. Um, I make this stuff. I make my content uh, that the streamline things to help people out, and I, it's not to advertise or nothing. You know, not. Uh, here, the bonus tip is, uh, you know. None of these games are perfect. They're going to have flaws in them. There's going to be certain mechanics and things that, yeah, a lot, might, you know, a lot of people aren't going to be happy about. But, uh, you know, there's so much they had to do in these games, that, especially in a new game. The other game I play is a new game, too. So, uh, you know, they, I think they've done a good job, though, for the time frame that they've had to work with. So I wanted to clarify that with people. You know, if you feel like you, some things could get changed, be a part of the solution. You know, not a problem. You know, go to their discords. They have feedback. This this game, Call of Dragons, has a, a feedback, a suggestion channel, post suggestions. Help the developers out in the game. I make that. I cover this in other videos. I do. But uh, why did the developers add the season mechanics? Okay, I'm gonna go over this, and you can read this. You can copy paste. This, send this to whoever you want to send it to. Verify this if you don't want to trust me. But this, this is why they did it, guys. Uh, why did developers add the season mechanics the way they did? Uh, the per perhaps the developers thought it best to re re refresh a server every 75 days. Let me zoom this up a little bit so you guys can all read this. There's no question of what was going on here. To encourage players to col consolidate alliances to stronger groups. Basically, to encourage focus of each server to lean toward a higher higher hierarchy of clans every 75 days. I'll explain this once I read everything, trust me. A server reset to restructure power dynamics on servers to prevent stagnation and boredom of players to encourage players to stay on the same servers instead of moving to a new server. This would encourage regrouping of the three top alliances with the most active players for each new season restart, thus reducing the, the need to do a server merge. Okay? Video link explanations, developer guides of season. I recommend this too, guys. Watch the, this guy, this game's. Uh, I'll put this in in there and the link in there for their on their channel and this for my descriptions in this video. Uh, watch this developer's guide to seasons. Okay, this is the actual games video. They do a great job. This is an amazing company. Uh, their videos. I just I don't think I've seen a better videos for any other game.
I'm, I'm, maybe I'm wrong, but uh, yeah, check them out. But uh, you can at this point, if you don't, if you just want to check, read this what I got and on this site I got or whatnot. You don't want to trust me anymore. You can just leave the video at this point. I'm gonna ramble on a little bit more, hopefully, and I'll wrap it up. I promise. But uh, this proves, okay, uh, what they're trying to do with these game, this game mechanic is, they're trying to get it to where people don't have to, to, to either quit the game or 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 leave another server they're gonna make it to the point to where you won't have to leave your server all you have to do is wait 75 days for a new season to start and then it'll be basically like a, a server refresh for you in certain ways as long as they do this uh super server uh this is down i don't know where i put that at I, maybe I, I had it up here or something yeah super server merge okay at the two weeks to sit at the the second season starts, amounts of service could vary. So, you know, this could be the, for the very initial part because, and here's another, this is a good tip. I don't know if anybody's listening anymore, but this one's going to help you big time. These new games like this, there's so many hype for it, okay? There's going to be people, it's just going to be blood and war and everything in these games right in, when they first start, especially this game. Everyone's hyped to play. So it's going to be very dangerous out there, okay? So um, it's going to be chaos. So, uh, what they're going to do is after 75 days, they're going to actually, or a week or two after that, they're going to actually combine four to six other servers and put them in together. Because at that time, especially in the, on these new servers and in, in, in a new game, there's going to be a lot of people wanting to move to, uh, server hopping. You know, They're going to hop around. You know, So they're going to consolidate the player bases into this game. Anyways, bear and a bear, and I hope that you—I know, hope you watch this and and it helped. And uh, I'll talk to you guys later.